This video is for companies that either have a mobile workforce or are evaluating Salesforce with check-in to replace a paper or electronic form that their mobile workers use when visiting accounts. It will show you how to set up a form and use it with the check-in app. We're logged into Salesforce Enterprise Edition as an admin. We go to App Setup, Customize Activities, and from there we select the activity Custom Fields. So first we will add the fields for the form. Click New, and then you have a choice of what type of data you want to add. For example, a multi-select pick list, which implies that you can select more than one of the choices. For example, we will enter a few SKUs. You have to define the label, which is what the end user will see on their mobile device. Then you enter the selections one by one, each on a separate row. You can have one be the default selected. You can also sort them out alphabetically. You can also select how many to show on the form once open. We selected four lines. Next, you will decide the field level security, which defines who in your organization in Salesforce will see those fields. We'll go a bit more into detail later, and then you can also identify in which page layout they will be visible. We will also describe this a bit later, and then you save. So we've saved the first field so far. Next, we will add another type, a single pick list, which means the user can only select one of the values. Again, you enter a label, and a label is specifically descriptive to help the user complete the form. We've entered the values one through five, and for all of those fields that we will add, we are selecting visible to all. With the checkbox selected, this means every user on Salesforce will see these fields. We are also restricting them to the standard event page layout, so we will show how to add them specific pages later. Next, we will add a field, a text field. In this case, when you have a text field, besides the label, you will have to define how many characters a user can enter. In this case, we are selecting 100 characters. Again, the field security level implies anybody can see this field in Salesforce, and this is what we meant earlier by the event layout is the standard that comes with Salesforce. The next field we will add is a simple checkbox a true or false, or yes or no. You can also select the default value with this checked or unchecked. Once again, it's four steps for every time you add a new field. You go through all those steps. Next, we will add the different type. This one will be a number field. But since this is a number field, if a user tries to enter text, it will be rejected. For number fields, you have to define the decimal points if required. So now we're using four digits with no decimals. So like 9,999, for example. You can also define in this process whether a field is required or it's a read only. Once the fields are entered, you now go to the event page layout, and then we're going to create a new page layout. Essentially, we're going to clone an existing one and then add those fields we just created to this new check-in and checklist mobile page layout. From there, it's simply dragging and dropping. So first, we will create a new section in the page layout. We will call it Visit Checklist. Once here, you can create one or two columns, and then you simply drag and drop the fields that we've added into this area. If you notice, there were multiple page layouts, and you can assign different users different page layouts. So if you have a field service team, you can assign a different page layout than the field sales team. That way you can create different forms for your mobile workers to complete, 
based on your business requirements. Once you've placed the fields on the page layouts, you must save the page layout. Once we've saved the mobile check-in and checklist layout, we have to assign it to our users. The way it works in Salesforce is you actually assign the layout to a profile. In this case, we have a sales rep mobile profile and right now it's assigned to the mobile check-in page layout. And we're going to replace the mobile check-in layout with the mobile check-in and checklist layout. You notice the double check. There it is. Next, we will log in and use this new page layout, this new form that we just created. So we're going to log in as a sales rep. We have a profile sales rep mobile. One of them is sales rep Robert, who has this profile. So we're logging in to salesforce.com with our username and password. You can see my name as sales rep Robert. I'm going to select an account ABC store and I'm going to scroll down and click the new event button. Essentially I'm creating a new form, a store visit. I save it and we will open this event and pretend we are now at ABC store and we're checking in. We click the check-in button. It captures our location from the browser. And if we were to refresh the page right now or edit it, it will show you our check-in location. Now you see the checklist. There are the items we added to the multi-check pick list. Next, we will enter the field, who did you talk to? We are entering one of the inputs in the pick list. And then you also can enter free form text in the description field. Next, you will save it. If you notice, the form is complete now and also shows our check-in location if you zoom way in. It will show two pins. One is the account location, the blue pin, and the other one is our location where we checked in. And then you click the checkout and now it also captures your location again to verify that you are still there and then it also captures your visit duration. In this case, it was two minutes, and that's it.